We must get a hold of a tissue sample of a deceased vegetarian before the thermospheric flux quickly degrades it. It may just be vital to understanding the blink. We have unfortunately come up short in bypassing the considerable automated security system you see now before you. Disappointing, but understandable. I... Actually, Goran and Scout, please assess. I need to consult with my engineer. Belana, hey, what's up? I just realized I've had this picture in my head of my body lying somewhere intact, just waiting to be rejoined, that they couldn't take my mind because I uploaded it first. But what if they didn't take my mind because I'd already... Okay, no. No time to think about that now. I have an idea. You won't love it because it involves me tweaking my emitter settings. But please, I can do this. I hear you, B. Just be careful. What a marvelous device. Hollow projection via local quantum entanglement. And lastly, ow! Easy on the hammer coupler. And... And that should do it. Arrest well, my friend. In whatever awaits. Te chassomsa. And I know I'm talking to a corpse, but it makes me feel better about it. And sustainability in a career is definitely logical. On the contrary, I admire the NR last right. It leaves ample space for the unknown. Good. Please run on a second battery of labs yourself, Comment Pair. Captain, do you have reason to doubt Dr. Thea's methods? Of course, Captain, at once. I should not have questioned you. Uh, northeast quadrant is clear. As is the southeast, we should report back and prepare to depart. Agreed, Talo. May I inquire? I wasn't aware Starfleet had yet to include any high-ranking Cardassian officers. I'm a special attaché. Cardassia has interests in this region. And you, Borg, how was it you came to serve Captain Taff? I... They, they gave me a home, the only one I've ever known. Raised to away team, we have a problem. The thermospheric activity appears to be spiking. Not sure exactly what it means, but I'd get inside just to be safe. It's... It's a long July. Extreme thermospheric events are rare, but day to night in mere minutes will seem like nothing in comparison. Inside will not be sufficient. Finish up. Then we must get to a winter box. There's one not far from here. Not safe to beam out, I'm told. Everyone, gather up. Zayela, lead the way. Uh-oh. Damn it. <clears throat> Time to go, Doc. My lab processing is nearly complete. But we already have my labs. Come on. Careful. Faster. Everybody, inside, now. I must seal the door before the light becomes too intense. No, just a few more seconds. Tepe has tripped. She needs no. no. <sighs> what? Three of our people are still out there. Open it now. I did as protocol dictates. The need of the many. Fuck your protocols and fuck your sayings. There was time. Tough to raise. Scan our surroundings. What are our options? Captain, glad to hear you're okay. We just had an extreme spike in the beta thermolithic radiation. The initial burst would have caused severe, probably lethal tissue damage. The levels have diminished slightly, but prolonged exposure is ill-advised. I'm going out there to get them. Feel free to give me a hand, Zayella. You won't be able to see. At moments, you'll be permanently blind. Ah, oh, then allow me. I'll just be a minute. Dermal tissue vaporizing. A singularly unpleasant experience. Must get to. Scott? Anyone? We have to get inside, Biff. I don't like it. They've been out there too long. 
I agree, but we won't be much use. I'm trying to adjust my settings again to compensate for... Prepare to... Do not be alarmed. We are not Borg. When my organic components began to shut down, my latent servers reactivated and quickly adapted to initiate genetronic failsafe and visual cortex alignment. I have merely injected Taylor and Taya with sufficient nanoprobes to revive them and allow them to repair their sight. Despite your earlier protests, it would appear you are now tricordering me. So it would seem. I'll be damned. It checks out, Captain. I'm not reading any interplexing frequencies. Signs of outgoing mail to the collective. That is very precise work, Scout. I think even seven of nine would be impressed. This cannot be allowed to stand. Mad stunt after stunt. The Jem'Hadar, the Borg. You cannot be allowed to continue playing with fire as you please. Tough. There will be a reckoning. That is completely unfair, especially coming from someone who left your own people out there to die to save your own skin. On Voyager, we got ridiculously good at telling who to trust despite appearances and backstory, and without compromising our integrity. We wouldn't have survived otherwise. Case in point, we also got ridiculously good at telling exactly how assimilated someone is, crazy as it sounds. And when I tell you we're safe, that's science, not performing a stunt. Science! And we wouldn't have survived without that either. Hell, I'm living proof. There is merit in what you say. For generations, my people on Kaminar had nothing but our fear until we were shown it was not the only way. Most saw it as liberation, but we must not forget the value of fear, the strength in holding the guiding light of perfect and flinching fear. Some must preserve fear so that others may truly live. That is why I'm not willing to give up my fear. You accurately noted earlier, Shira, your crew is not my purview, but my crew is, so it is my right and I believe my duty to protect us from the plague we all know is coming. No!